Welcome, Leo. Oh, hold on. It fell. <laughs> All right, so be careful, okay? Be careful when you're like managing things or taking care of things, you might drop the ball. Okay, a new venture will be a success. Congratulations, that's awesome. All right. Excuse me, I'm starting to drink coffee again and I'm super thirsty. All right, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to help me grow it by subscribing. If you already subscribed, thank you so much. That means that you're a relative, family, friend, uh, OG subscriber, or my students whom I love, okay? So Leo, let's see. Oh, commitment. This can be like a relationship commitment in terms of like uh, um, intimate, or it could be like a business venture, okay? Beautiful. Yeah, that you're going to anchor. Beautiful. And you're going to take a risk. It's going to come out really good. Oh, my God. Let me take another one. Yeah. You might also have a date coming in, okay? This can also be like an engagement. This can also be a business meeting that you will be going to that's going to be very public, like in a public place. Not very public, but that. You don't see this coming at all. Okay, you have been waiting for it, but you don't see this coming at all. You're going to you're going to get like a text or like an invite or some sort of communication inviting you to this. Delight. This is seeing things from a higher perspective. This is if you've been confused, you're no longer going to be confused, okay? This is clearing the air. This is also about some sort of travel that might be coming. How exciting. Eye of the needle, intentional, okay? So this is about setting your intention. This is about your third eye opening up. Uh, if you don't know what that is, look it up. This is about communication. This is about like finding a needle in the haystack. This is about like, like I, I think there's like a story about camels going through a needle, eyes needle or something like that. So this is about an impossibility, okay, that's coming through. And then lost in space, needing direction. So be very intentional in your actions, okay? This is also, you might have some Pisces in your chart or dealing with the Pisces. And this is about doing like moon magic or propelling, uh, harnessing the moon energy in order to propel whatever it is that you're trying to manifest into reality, okay? This is such a beautiful, this is also like a portal that's opening up for you. Yeah, encouragement, there's gonna be an engagement, okay? Be encouraged to take a risk. Okay. Property coming in and emotional, secure, loving family is important to you. So property coming in, coming together. Somebody might be pregnant as well. You might be having children. And then someone is entering your life. How exciting. I told you. And then happiness. You're going to be so happy. They're also going to gift you flowers. And then you are highly thought of. You're going to wrap this up, okay? And then dealing a relationship with a woman. Perfect. This is for Leo. Follow me on Instagram. Um, I upload daily there. I would love for you to join me there as well. And um, if you're needing a private reading, please reach out. I had the student that reached out. Um, and um, other friends and family, and so that's really worked. Full moon coming into alignment, ending of a cycle, beginning of a new one, you know, getting ready for Halloween if you're kind of witchy, shaman, you know, psychic. Uh, full alignment coming in. Beautiful. We'll take one more. Just a super excellent read. You're going to find your partner if you're not already partnered up. If you are, it's going to go to a higher commitment. And you're going to get married. Turn knowledge into wisdom. This is about being astute, blending in, agile, uh, just beautiful. Love is in the air. And then we have speed. I got this in Instagram today. You might want to watch.
today. And it's Instagram, Mr. Bean. Alrighty, so we got speed. Things are going to speed up, okay? This is for Leo. Um, let me see. I think I'm going to get this one. Super stability, possibly new home, new property, new business, okay? Something you're nurturing. Yeah, like lots of stability, lots of harmony in your home. Yeah, I think you felt stuck, especially financially. But I think you're seeing things in a very different perspective now. Yeah, or something had you stuck, or um, maybe this is organizing and you weren't organized. This is also some sort of cheating or deception, possibly. Someone kind of conniving or um, sneaky or astute or um, like a fox, right? That maybe um, like pulled... You know, maybe did something that wasn't all that honorable or, you know, some sort of deception of some sort. Yeah, non-truths. This could have been an air sign that you were dealing with. Um, somebody very uh, emotionally unavailable, okay? There's a lot of strife over money or family foundation or some sort of legacy. This might also be maybe like um, legal issues that possibly aren't going in your way. Uh, if that's, yeah, some legal issues having to do with money or separation, having to do with the family dynamic or money or legacy or uh, inheritance, okay? But this is starting a new beginning, new venture, okay? Something was very toxic in the past. You left it, possibly something that kept you like stuck. All right, but this is a new beginning, standing in your power, new opportunity coming in, new venture. You're going to be super happy. All right. This person could have also been in and out romantically, and it was a huge burden for you. There was some betrayal here, possibly a third-party situation that was very conflicted for you. Uh, you know, that there was a lot of competition, lots of strife, lots of arguing, maybe lots of drinking, but the Wheel of Fortune is here. Huge stability, huge opportunity, new home, engagement coming in. This is some karma that's owed to you, positive karma. You might be dealing with an Aries, someone of power, some of situation. There might be an offer coming in, okay, swiftly. Maybe from someone toxic or someone that's not stable. Someone that had you very anxious, but you're doing better. <clears throat> you're going to have victory <clears throat> with this relationship, okay? Whether it be business or your partnership, whether it be business or amorous. Slow and steady wins the race. They're coming in with an offer of some sort. You're going you're gonna to find they're going to communicate with you. Possibly someone from the past that wasn't willing to commit or has three children or you had children with this person, somebody that didn't really show you their love, okay? Something that didn't manifest, that where there wasn't a new beginning. You cried a lot over this person. You had a lot of love for them, but you're no longer investing any time in them. You put in a lot of time and effort into them. There's your card. You're moving forward, okay? You're not putting in any work into this anymore, and you're not feeling bad anymore. You're self-loving yourself. There might be someone that's coming back, or you went back to this person, okay, after it was over, but there might be some communication coming in, right, from this person that's wanting to come in, or this could be you, or you standing in your power, and you starting a new venture, okay, new opportunity. Yeah, there's going to be an offer of a wish fulfillment, something that's going to, you know, hopefully make you really happy. 
I think this person has surrendered or you're surrendering, okay, has possibly let their guard down as well, maybe, or was guarded in the past. They might be at a distance. There might be some legal issues or there was a severance or separation of a relationship. Somebody's praying that you come back, but you're on the defensive, all right, and you've released this person that had you imprisoned or had you up in your head. It was a no-win situation. They, you felt like lack, uh, you know, financially and emotionally. Somebody else might be sick, okay? There was a huge tower moment that you had to like either separate, move, uh, that you didn't see coming, possibly a sale of a home or possibly also work, all right? You've been resting, but there's communication coming in or travel after this huge betrayal and you're working on it. There's also some like communication that was delivered that was very harsh. There was no forward movement with this relationship or if they come, I don't think that you're going to accept them back. You've released them, okay? This relationship was very back and forth. It was non-committal. You're following your intuition. Someone ghosted you or you ghosted them. You could see clearly now. All right. You waited and you're waiting or someone's waiting. But you find that this is not a ba balance for your family at all. Okay, and you don't feel that this is a wish fulfillment anymore. There was a judgment call on this and there was some karma that played out. Okay, with this person and they're coming back to apologize. Love and light, Leo.